guess who gets googly eyes? <laughs> There we go. The last Christmas card of the holiday. Hello, fellow trainers and illustrators. Welcome to the Art Cafe. I am your host, Betamus. Today is the 12th and last day of Christmas. To celebrate and say goodbye to the holiday, I'll be making one last Christmas card by scratch. This means making sure I get the measurements right so that it fits nice and snug in the envelope. To help me out, I have my trusty paper cutter. But first, I need to size down the paper with scissors. I love the sound it makes when cutting paper. Well, it doesn't quite fit, so one more cut should do the trick. There we go. I want to make a window in the shape of a tree so that you can see the painting while the card is closed. So I'm gonna make a stencil using tracing paper first. <laughs> Morticia likes googly eyes. After setting my guidelines for the window, I lightly sketch my drawing to paint over it. The sketching was super light, so I'm just jumping into the painting part. But here's a sample of the sketching process. So my intention was to make a shiny Sylveon, but I forgot as soon as I finished painting the inside of its ears. Fortunately, when working with acrylic, it's easy to fix a small mistake like that. Shiny Sylveons have blue tails. This card is intended for a friend who loved his shiny Sylveon he hatched some time ago. He also loves Duskull, so I'm including a Duskull figurine on the mantle.
Acrylic dries much faster than watercolor, so I have to be fast when covering large areas, especially when they need to blend. That's Voltron's paw up there. I want a warm feeling in the center, so I use blue in the corners to cool the edges down and draw a viewer's focus to the middle of the painting by blending the blue out using water. Illustration is done, but now to create the spine with this beautiful scrapbook paper. Let's not forget to write Merry Christmas! Lord Pineapple approves! Slip it in, and it's ready to go. Thank you for watching, and Happy New Year! Tell me about your favorite shiny Pokemon in the comments. 
I'd appreciate a like, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. And until next time, trainers, illustrators, and coffee lovers, stay cozy!